the Great Barrier Reef is home to unique coral and marine life and is a popular tourist spot due to its natural beauties. This is under threat by pesticides which enter the Great Barrier Reef through the river systems that connect to local farmlands and they are having a catastrophic effect on the plant and marine life that inhabit the area. So what are the effects that pesticides are having on the marine and plant life? The pesticides are toxic to the seagrass that many animals, including sea turtles and dugons, feed on. Due to the seagrass dying off, many animals have no food to eat and struggle to survive. The pesticides are also having devastating effects on the coral life in the Great Barrier Reef. The pesticides are damaging the young coral embryos and therefore reducing the amount of coral that live in the Great Barrier Reef. The pesticides end up in the reef as a result of the runoff that occurs when there are large amounts of rain. The pesticide runoff from local farmlands into local river systems which then lead into the Great Barrier Reef. It has been concluded that 80% of these pesticides come from farmland located along the reef that is trying to support Australia's agricultural production. The main industries that are using the pesticides that are destroying the Great Barrier Reef are sugarcane farmers and the beef cattle grazing farmers. Pesticides help reduce the amount of infectious diseases that are spread through the insects that are carrying them, especially for beef cattle farmers. It is also to stop the pests eating the crops. However, these pests are becoming immune to the pesticides and therefore this requires farmers to increase their use of pesticides in order to save their crops. Over the last 30 to 40 years, these farmers have had to increase their pesticide use by three to seven more times than they were previously. Many researchers believe that pesticides have a greater effect at different times of the year. It has been concluded that pesticides have been found in larger quantities in the river catchments that enter the Great Barrier Reef during the wet season. This is due to heavy rainfall washing all the pesticides from the farming land as what is described as runoff. The runoff transports the pesticides into the Great Barrier Reef, which for weeks can have devastating effects on the flora and fauna which inhabit these areas. The most impact of runoff is during periodic flooding. The Great Barrier Reef brings in $6 billion annually into the economy through its unique coral and marine life that inhabit the area. This is through tourism, as people are drawn to its natural beauties. It has also generated around 69,000 jobs. If the reef decreases and dies due to these pesticides, this will mean loss to the Australian economy, which will affect all Australians, as well as loss of jobs, which affects many thousands of Australian families. However, on the counter-argument, if pesticides are abolished, what will become of the food that we eat? The loss of crops due to not using pesticides would affect the economy by around $20 billion. This is due to the crops being eaten by pests as well as infectious diseases killing herds of livestock, meaning less food on the table and prices being driven up by demand. The most effective way of reducing the amount of pesticides that are entering and damaging the Great Barrier Reef is by reducing the amount of pesticides that are used. The Queensland Government alongside the Australian Government have created the Reef Quarter Quality Action Plan. This is a 10 year plan that will cost around $40 million to improve the quality of water entering the reef. The plan consists of 80% of farmers adopting better management practices with pesticides and 50% of cattle farmers improving their pastures, ensuring that there is no loss to natural wetlands. The Great Barrier Reef's destruction from the pesticides should make Australia step up as a nation and show its ability to respond to the effect that pesticides are having on the environment, especially the Great Barrier Reef.